Welcome on my channel, my name is Create My Comic. I usually don't use this channel much anymore. I figured I should start doing it again. And with the recent uh, things happening in the Clip Studio Paint community, especially with the desktop users, I thought, okay, I, I, I felt like this is a great opportunity to restart this channel, uh, give you guys my opinion about it and put the record straight on a lot of things that people simply got wrong so i was on twitter and i was on facebook and i was talking to a lot of people and a lot of people got stuff wrong and for whatever reason when you correct them that's not enough and so i i kind of felt like you need people like me and be like the bad guy for a part of the community and yeah set the record straight talk a little bit about it so to me, I'm a comic book artist. I work on my own book right now, um, which uh, hopefully comes out uh, at the beginning of next year, maybe. So uh, I'm a big comic book fan. Also, I've been a digital artist for over 20 years, not with just drawing, but doing 3D art, working with Photoshop. Photoshop, I have the longest run, I easily 20 years by now and using 3D software, whatever. Um, I also do a lot of YouTube stuff lately, but that has nothing to do with art. And yeah, that's basically it about me. If you want to follow me, you are invited to do so. Uh, <laughs> shameless plug here. So this is my Instagram at create my comic. You can find me everywhere at the handle create my comic. Uh, don't use TikTok because I, I no longer have TikTok on my phone. I'm not going to use it. This uh, TikTok is just a bad, bad place to be. It's great to show your art, but yeah, I just don't like it anymore. So you can find me on TikTok. So what about CSP? If you don't know what Clip Studio Paint is, I'll give you a little run up. So Clip Studio Paint uh, is a digital drawing software. It's pretty similar to Photoshop, but while Photoshop is a image manipulation software, a design software um, that can be used to draw and it's really good if you use it for drawing clip studio paint is really focused on drawing and it's focused on uh, drawing comics and mangas it even was called manga studio before but then they switched the name um, it's extremely well crafted it has an awesome brush engine and overall it's a real good workhouse if you want to do illustration and especially comic book art um, it's also available on all platforms so you if you're a windows user you're good if you're a mac user you're good and if you do stuff on the ipad or on the samsung or whatever android tablet device you're also good you're covered the Difference there is there's two versions. There's a desktop version that you can use on a Windows or a Macintosh computer and then there's the mobile versions. The mobile versions are subscription based and have always been subscription based for iOS, meaning the Apple iPad. It was available for years already. Um, Android users are just lately a new slate of uh, users that came into the software because before you didn't have it on Android. And they even started to be Samsung only. I even bought a Samsung tablet for that and then they brought the Android version. So <laughs> that wasn't necessary in the end, but it's a great tablet. I love my Samsung tablet. Um, so yeah, that's that's Clip Studio Paint. That's the software. So um, now what has been and what has changed? So usually you had this version for Clip Studio Paint. It was a one-time purchase. Um, it was a one-time purchase for an unrestricted period of time without additional cost. So this is Clip Studio Paint version one. This is pretty important later. So uh, for the desktop version, you usually had the, the opportunity for a 30-day trial. Um, this could have been extended up to three months. I lucky enough was one of the guys that got a three month um, code after I met some of the clip studio people at a convention. So after that, you can decide if you go with the pro version, which is a full version. It's not like a light version. It's actually the full program. 
and then there's the bigger EX version. The Pro version, as you can see here, is $50. Now, here comes the first thing. Almost no one pays this $50. Uh, Clip Studio Paint is known for having these sales various times throughout the year where you have the opportunity to buy it for 50% off. So most people buy Clip Studio Paint for 25 bucks. The AX version is the same. It's $219, but <laughs> if you use the 50% the off deal, it's only 110. And you can also upgrade the Pro version to the AX version when you pay the difference. And that is also cut in half. And this is what I did when I when I got my first tablet, uh, my first uh, tablet that has a that had a screen on it because you, uh, I wasn't able to draw in Photoshop without a screen. So that's why I got a tablet with a screen. Um, then I tried various softwares. Clip Studio Paint was the one I liked the most. And as I as I just said, my my my. Uh, period was extended to three months and after that uh, not even after that during that time there was one of those sales and i bought it for 25 bucks later i did upgrade to the ex version and honestly i didn't think that i need ex ex is mostly if you want to do animation i don't have time for it i would be totally inclined to try it but i don't just don't have the time for it uh but I, I basically bought the EX version to support the company because I couldn't understand how this company survives with these payments. To bring it in perspective, if you buy the EX version, the big one, for $110, that is like the payment of one hour of a developer. So that doesn't make sense if you look at it from that angle. So you can see there's a monthly plan that starts from $1 a month. Um, but that's not the, the, the real one. Like if, if you really want to try it uh, with a monthly plan, I guess you have to pay like five bucks a month, right? Yes, monthly $4.50 and annually $25. So that's $25 for a whole year. Okay, you, you can pay $25 and have the software and you own it. But even if they didn't have that option, $25 for a whole year, in my opinion, not too, not too bad. Really not bad. Um, yeah, but desktop users usually didn't like the, the subscription model. A lot of people did go to Clip Studio Paint because they didn't like the subscription model of Photoshop, for example. And... This is interesting because I just don't understand why you use this software simply because it doesn't have a subscription service. It, that, that would never cross my mind to say I take this software because it doesn't have a subscription service. If I think about that, I would use one of the softwares that are free, like Medibank, for example, Krita. Those softwares are pretty solid and they are free. Um, but I pay because I like how the software, the pro, how professional Clip Studio Paint is. So that, that's why I chose to take the software and not because it was the one that didn't have a subscription service. Um, I don't know, that, that's, that sounds weird to me, but to each his own, I guess. Um, so this is the price of the software. Um, aside from what the software costs, you got tons of materials. They have a YouTube channel with tutorials. That stuff is all for free. And when I say tons of materials, like tons of brushes, um, texture stuff, all this stuff, free. You can download it for free. It's several gigabytes. Um, they have a partner company that takes care of the distribution in North and South America and Europe um, called Graphicsly. They have regular free webinars that you can attend. I use some of those. That's that's pretty cool. Like learning this software is free and it's great. It's really easy. Um, and for this version one, the deal was you get every update for free for life. Like that's what it says, right? It says unrestricted period of time without additional costs. Um, 
so far that included over 80 updates in the last 10 years because this deal was going on for 10 years if you bought 10 years ago then you can use it until now you got all the updates so and here comes the problem where i think some users feel betrayed though it's anything but a betrayal <laughs> but yeah that's the reaction we had in the community people were really mad and pissed so let's look at what has changed so this is the whole text what has changed and the uh all the details about it to to sum it up quickly in the first half of 2023 they uh, clip studio paint will release version 2. now first things first people have to realize version 2 is a new software package it's not an update it's not like they say it's an update and whatever no this is this version 2 that means version 1 is done so everything they said considering version 1 that uh you have all the updates for life that is done because you did get all the updates for version 1 because after the release of version 2 there will be no more free feature updates on version 1 this is basically it this is everything a version 1 user basically needs to know at this point nothing else is happening no one is taking away your software you only don't get more feature updates and then there's the thing what is a feature update and what is an operating system update maintenance whatever so i continue you can keep using your version one basically forever provided you have a machine that supports it during the duration of version 2, you won't receive free feature updates, but you still get the stability and operating system updates. So while version three, 2 is out, excuse me, while version 2 is out there, your version 1 will still get the stability and operating system updates. So that is untouched. You will keep that. You only won't get any more features. But you got 80 updates already with a lot of features. When version 3 releases, uh, that's when the feature and operating system updates for version 1 will stop. So from that time on, that doesn't mean that your version 1 stops working right away. It just means you can't uh, change the system it works on. Like if you, if you get a new operating system, new Windows version, there's a high probability, or well not a high probability, but there's a probability that your software won't work the way you're so it's supposed to work so that means if you have a computer and you used it with clip studio paint before and it works fine as long as you don't touch the operating system and don't play around with drivers and don't change any parts of it you still can use clip studio paint basically forever on that one the version one so that that is what gets back to the initial Thing they said you can use the software for an unrestricted period of time without additional cost um, and that's it that's true version one you can still use it forever without additional cost i don't know why people have such a big problem with that <clears throat> uh, you also keep the access to the materials and the user services provided by clip studio paint so if you have a problem you can still call them and I guess the, the, the big thing is the materials, because they are really important. So that's basically what it says here. It also talks about version 2, but there's not... It, it says version 2 will have uh, some new stuff, but it also says no new stuff about the UI or most of the functions. So I guess it won't be a big difference if you have version 2 or if you have the latest version of version 1. So... If you have version 1, I don't see any any reason to upgrade to version 2. I, I really don't. I, I don't know why anyone would do that. So what is different here and what's the problem for most people is if you want to keep getting updates and it doesn't matter if you buy if you keep version 1 or if you buy version 2. If you want to have updates in the future, you need to buy an update pass. So this is the this is the, the end boss, the dreaded subscription model. And this is interesting here. So people think for whatever reason, or there's a lot of people, for whatever reason, they think they need to have this update pass. Well, this is the part of this news 
that you can skip. You don't need the update pass. Not at all. <laughs> that, that makes no sense. But why would you need the update pass? Usually in the past, if you had updates on Clip Studio Paint, you didn't need those updates. The stability and operating system updates. These were important, but you still get those. So that's not a problem. Um, the feature updates. That's what you need the update pass for. Um, and I don't know why this is so important. <laughs> so nothing gets taken away. People are super mad they don't get the new toys when they come out. This is, this is weird to me. So one thing people especially criticize about the update pass is so if you buy version 2 and you pay for the yearly update pass that's a subscription we don't know the price yet it's supposed to be less than the annual plan now which is still pretty cheap but whatever so if you have the update pass the thing is if you go to version 2.3 for example and you no longer pay for the update pass then you fall back to version 2.0. That's the thing. You don't keep your toys if you no longer pay for the update pass. This makes people super mad, but I don't understand why. Like I said, I don't think there's much you really need. The only reason what I think why you would need the update pass is if you're a professional and you make money. This is a big point. If you make money as an artist, and they bring a tool that gives you the ability to create something that brings you more money or makes you more efficient so that you are faster and you can make more money. Then I would say you need the update pass, but since it will, it will cost like, I don't know, it, it has to be less than five bucks a, year, a month, right? So it's pretty cheap. If you make more money with your job and the cost of entry to that is like five bucks a month. It's, it's not even a question. If I can make a hundred bucks more a month, then I can spend five bucks to make that hundred bucks. That's 95 more I do. So I don't get that. I don't get that. And if you think you, you're somehow uh, entitled to it, that's something I don't get. And the big thing here is when version three releases, then you have all the updates without you getting the update pass. So as a version one user, I will skip version two unless uh, version 2.0 has anything that makes me want to have it. So far, I, I don't think this will be happening, but whatever. So I will keep using version one since it's it still gets all the stability and operating system updates. I can work perfectly with version 1 so I don't need version 2 I don't need the update pass because I doubt they will bring anything that is worth it for me to get the annual plan for the update pass even though I think it will be super cheap um, and I just wait for version 3 because the updates you get for version 2 is the development process for version 3 so when version 3 comes out that's when all these updates all the stuff they develop they put it in a new program, a new software package, and this will be version three. So you can skip version two, go directly to version three when that is released. I think version three won't be out before two or maybe three years. That's the time span I'm expecting. And version one support, the operating system and the, uh, the, uh, what's it called operating system and stability support that will end when version 3 is released so version 3 is a very good time to go back and get another license you don't need it like if you have a machine that still runs your clip studio paint then you still don't need to buy the new version i will buy the new version because it's a one-time payment with all the updates and I get the support will continue after that. Well, look, if you look at the support for version two, that will end with the release of version five. So most likely the support for version three will end with version five. Did I say version five here? I meant support for version two will end with version four. So support for version three will most likely end with version five and 
I don't have any problem paying like 25 bucks or 110 bucks every three or four years. Um, if it's worth it, like if it, maybe it's not even worth it. Maybe I can draw perfectly with what I have already, right? So that, that that's <laughs> that's still still something that has to be seen. Like people are people are mad about a subscription service they don't need to use. They're mad about updates they don't know what they will look like. So I I I, I totally don't get it. So yeah, like to put it in short, what people got wrong. So Clip Studio Paint is not turning in a Photoshop version two subscription service. You don't need the subscription service at all here. Everything stays the same for version, version 1 users. You no longer get the new tools and you might need to buy another package someday in your life. Like maybe in 3, 4, 5 years you'll need a new package because your machine doesn't work anymore. Whatever. So, but ba basically you don't lose anything. You just don't get any more pre presents because all these updates that were presents like you didn't pay for them you pay for the software that's what you paid for the package you got and you paid for of course updates of version one but to expect this this version one thing would stay there forever and ever that's that's a weird expectation so uh the update pass doesn't force you to pay for functions that are part of version 2. You only now have to pay to use the updates of the functions for the next package early, meaning it is not a video game. It's not like the updates for version 2 are not part of version 2, essentially. It's not like a video game where they split the game in half and then they say you have to pay for the, down, the, for the DLC. What you see here is a finished version 2, which is basically all the updates from version 1 and maybe a few extras so that you have any incentive to buy version 2 and then all the updates you get is just extras you pay with the update pass for it and then they package it all together with version 3 that's a new package that will have all these developments so and this is how how software used to work before we had all this internet stuff and before you could download all these all these updates early that, that was the thing, like that's what was Photoshop was like. Photoshop released like version 6, then you had to wait around two years usually and then they would come out with version 7. And if you wanted to have that one, mind you, Photoshop was like a thousand bucks and if you wanted to have the update from 6 to version 7, even the update was like 400 bucks. And you didn't get the tools in advance. You had to wait for the update, not for the update, for the new version and buy the new version. And if you didn't upgrade to version 7 and you wanted to buy version 8, no subscription service, then you had to pay full, usually, or pay two updates, whatever. So that was, that was the thing before all of this. So I guess maybe some of the people that are so mad now, they are just too young to remember. And that's why they think every update as, that is in the version 2 era is part of version 2, while it's basically the development for version 3. Um, now the online reactions were crazy about this. So let's, uh, let's take a look. So this is a regular post by Clip Studio Paint. It's from two days ago. It has 15 comments and 45 retweets, 370 likes. When they made this announcement, what would change? We see here almost 30,000 retweets. So usually it's around 30 to 40 retweets and this was 30,000 retweets. People went nuts about it. Like they went nuts and there were outright insults. They were they were hurting the the business. That's that's what I find funny about it. People are so mad about stuff they didn't understand correctly. Granted, Clip Studio paid did a weak job explaining it in a good way they could have done it better but i don't know <laughs> why do you have to expect your people to be super stupid and have to be so smart to make it clear i don't know if, if you read what's in the statement you basically get the gist of it so i don't know what, what why that happened and yeah a lot of people thought 
pirating the software is now is now a good thing. So you should pirate the software now, um, which is weird. Here, why bother pirating this? If you're gonna pirate, may as well go Photoshop. That's also a thing. I think a lot of people they use Clip Studio Paint and because they think Photoshop is too expensive, which I think is so weird. Because you could basically, it's not much more expensive. If you want Photoshop, go ahead and get Photoshop. I don't know, take these few extra bucks a month and pay for Photoshop. If you only go to Clip Studio Paint because you think it's it's uh, almost as good as Photoshop, that's a weird thing. I don't use Clip Studio Paint because I think it's as good as Photoshop or maybe as good as Photoshop. I think it's superior to Photoshop. I like to work and draw in Clip Studio Paint way more as I do like in Photoshop. I don't like drawing in Photoshop at all. I never got around to draw in Photoshop. Like I said, I, I've been using it for 20 years and no, I, I tried several times. I couldn't work on it and Clip Studio Paint is the thing for me to go. Um, so that's really weird. Here, even Adobe allowed people who purchased their stuff to get free updates forever. This is literally worse than Adobe. That's not true. <laughs> that is simply not true. <laughs> there, there has never been such a thing like a software developer taking care of the software forever. Like, how will you do that? I'd get your refund now. Well, this, may, this just makes me buying the program a few years back feel like a slap in the face. So this is, this is one of my favorite replies here because this is what a lot of people said. So you bought the software a few years ago. That means the software you are using now is not even the same you bought. That's not the one you paid for. It's already a well better software because you got a lot of updates, feature updates, and you feel like this is a slap in the face. You never been slapped in the face, I think. <laughs> this is so weird. This is a middle finger to all you established consumers. Absolutely a horrid decision. I've always loved Clip Studio Paint, but these subscription models are an absolute scam. First of all, I already cleared that up. You don't need the subscription model. Um, you've always loved Clip Studio Paint unless you would have to pay. Um, and the middle finger to all you established consumers. You're not a consumer. You're a consumer if you pay money. You are a user. And at this point, after years of use, you are a free user. That's why it's funny. A lot of people try to threaten Clip Studio Paint by pirating the software. It doesn't make a difference if you pirate the software or if you don't pay anyway. If you just bought it a few years ago and you keep using it and you and after that you say, yeah, I just pirate it if, you, if I have to pay, it makes no difference. You're doing something illegal and hopefully <laughs> your ass get, get a fine for it. So you do have to pay, but yeah, that makes no sense. You can threaten someone with, I don't buy it and I never pay money anyway. I don't buy and I don't, I steal is the same thing. Like you still take something and don't buy it. That doesn't make any sense at all. Not at all. Yeah, that's some real entitlement. And I think, I think this kind of behavior is not tolerable. And this is what most people did here. This is really, really bad. Funny thing is, all the people that use Clip Studio Paint on a mobile device unfazed by this because they already pay a subscription model, which is also pretty cheap. I use it on my Samsung tablet. I have the desktop version, the EX version, and I got it on my Samsung tablet. And I paid 25 bucks for a whole year. Not even 25, 23 or whatever. So that was the subscription for the whole year. I don't know, like 25 bucks, that's almost nothing. If you're in a, in a spot in this world where $25 is a lot of money, I can understand why this is problematic, but then there's still a lot of free softwares. Like no one's entitled to get stuff free. There are people in this company, Clip Studio Paint is a company. And funny enough, it's a company, not, not a corporation. People act like Clip Studio Paint is Disney, a super big corporation that is ripping the world apart. No, it's like a software company and there's some people working and there's real people working there. You know, people that have families that need to be fed also. They need to feed their family. They need to bring money home. Why do these people think this company is supposed to give them everything for free? 
that is not sustainable um there's actually this guy uh what's his name yeah yeah here um brad colbo this is his video why are people so salty about clip studio paint i would recommend watching this video he clears it up a little bit and what he says there is is pretty pretty important thing um maintenance of the software costs money there's people sitting there making sure that if android gets a new update that the software keeps working and this is what they do all the time right they don't develop just new stuff there's also maintenance and they they need money for it these people need to be paid so who's supposed to pay that who's supposed to pay your software you entitled kids i don't get it so i don't know and i've talked to a lot of them like i it's all at this point i have a lot of fun going in and <laughs> as you can see here all the time i have a lot of fun telling people what they are doing wrong and i don't know it's just funny like the 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 mental gymnastics these people get into to make sure it makes any sense what they say like there were a lot of people that said man i gladly pay for a new package but i don't want the subscription model as soon as i cleared that up and told them lucky you you don't need the subscription model all you need to do is wait for version 3 and then you're good every time i used that every time these people came with the weirdest arguments why it's still bad someone said yeah if i buy version 3 then it's just a version 2 and that makes no sense why would i buy an old software because it's a tool to work why would you i don't know that makes no sense it makes no sense uh someone else thought um because Celsius or Clip Studio Paint is such a big mega corporation, uh, they were so bad uh, because they're a corporation, because every big corporation is mega bad. And I don't know, they went into the whole political thing. And this is the reason why they deserve something for free. I don't know. <laughs> uh, this, is, this is just funny. Like, I don't get it. These people, all of these people that are so mad, they should be ashamed of themselves. I'm ashamed that I'm a desktop user and basically I'm one of these people. Yeah, I'm ashamed of that, that I can be put in a box with all of these people that are so mad because they didn't understand or they think they are so entitled to anything. Like, look, the, when I got Clip Studio Paint, that was 25 bucks. I did a commission and I got the 25 bucks back. That's one commission, usually. It, maybe do two commissions but then you have the money back for the for the software for the tool to be even able and if you look if you don't make money with it then either get the free software or make sure you get the money to to for your hobby like you have to pay for every hobby everything you see here has been paid for i don't know how you can look in the mirror if you have such a handout waiting for people to just give you everything for free it's ridiculous totally ridiculous and yeah it's not a good look and nobody will miss these people like i won't miss having people in the community that just want everything for free and these people romanticize this the story of the starving artist if you're a starving artist you're doing something wrong i'm sorry i'm sorry to say it this way but oops that's the wrong one so <laughs> that's a big one so if you do, you're doing something wrong like and this is something i get i get a lot of backlash for every time i say it they they start to call me i'm the big corporate guy and money over everything no but you should work to get luxury that's pretty simple everyone has to work for luxury i mean unless you inherited a big bunch of money but usually people work for luxury so if this is your hobby then you need to make money on some end to buy the software which is still super cheap super cheap and it has been a gift for years now and it's a complete package at this point i don't, I don't even know what you need to update pass for like you can already draw on end you can use blender that is a free 3d software model stuff and import that into into clip studio paint and use that, uh, that as reference i don't know what else can you ask for 
And that's the thing. You ask for the stuff you don't even know yet that you need it. And if you, if you really think you need all these updates, then I hate to bring it to you. You're not an artist because that would mean you need technical advantages to do anything at all. That's pathetic. Like, get good, right? Go read a book about art. Start drawing. I mean, you can have a pencil and a piece of paper and you can do awesome stuff. Why do you need the, the, the most modern software all the time to create anything? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Totally ridiculous. Paying 25 bucks and expecting to have a lifetime of updates that cost money. Who's supposed to do that for you? Why do you need a handout? I don't get it. It's, it's really bad. So that's it. I mean, I was ranting for the last five minutes, I guess. Uh, yeah, but yeah, think about it. <laughs> if you're an artist, either you make, you're not an artist. If you can't make artists your hobby, if you can't make money with it, if you can make money with it, and the main tool you work with is too expensive. I don't know. why. How does that work? Every job you do, you have expenses. Like for me, Clip Studio Paint is my smallest expense. These lights for this video, they cost. When I buy them, they cost money. When I use them, they cost money. This computer costs money. <laughs> this camera costs money. Uh, my internet connection... My internet monthly is the amount of the pro version. 25 bucks. That's what I, uh, I pay more than 25 bucks just for my internet connection. So I don't know. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get why people think, why they, why they feel betrayed instead of being thankful for what they got already. And I don't know, maybe support the company so you can keep having it. Look, if you... If, that's the thing. If all these people are so mad and they are everywhere leaving leaving dislikes, leaving bad comments, then Clip Studio Paid might don't get enough new people in to be sustainable. And then your updates will end way quicker as you expected because they are no longer there. And I don't know why you... Why someone thinks he has the moral high ground and now he has a reason because you pay 25 bucks. Now you have the right to run this company into the ground. Like this is ridiculous and it's bad. It's outright bad to be that way. I don't get it. That makes no sense. Usually that, that's what the, uh, the good guy, um, Brad Corbo also said in his video. Most of the time companies change their, their system. That's because they need more money, which makes sense because now you have, now you have not just iOS users, but you also have Android users and Android users. They also pay uh, monthly or yearly. So they're on a subscription plan, but maybe that is not enough. Maybe that's too, it's too expensive. And the desktop users to be perfectly frank, Desktop users have always been piggy banking on the subscribers, right? EOS people, the iPhone, Apple people, they were paying for the desktop users because they only did the one-time payment and it was the subscription money from iOS that made sure that the software could get developed. So, yeah. Be thankful. Don't be mad. Be thankful. And now you just have to pay like everyone else. Not really, because you don't need the subscription. So you don't even, you're still on the better side with the desktop version. You still get paid or you still get your service paid by iOS and Android users. I don't know. Be more thankful. That's it. <laughs> I'm done with this video. Almost 40 minutes. I don't know. Uh, Leave a like if you want. Leave a dislike if you please. I don't see the dislikes anyway. And uh, yeah, you can you can go ahead and write me a comment. If you agree, if you don't agree, if I did something wrong, let me know. But I don't think I, I was missing any point here. Um, but I'm sure there's a few people that will try to correct me. So go ahead. Love to see what you have to say. 
uh you could subscribe to this channel but i don't know if i use it in the future i will try i guess i there's a lot of stuff to talk about and maybe to draw now and then so if you want to leave a subscription no not a subscription <laughs> doch, yeah doch. subscribe subscribe that's it so now i'm out see you guys maybe soon maybe not bye bye